shoulders, arms, and ab. What's up guys, this is someone from Aesthetic Progression and here we go with our workout. Starting off with some behind the neck Smith Machine Press. A lot of guys do not do this because of the fact that they think that they might injure their spine and whatnot. And it obviously does if you do not do correctly, which is the reason why Smith Machine I think is the best when it comes to this exercise. Just because you can put the safety spots and also you'll be going on a... On a single plane of motion so there's very 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 less chances of injury um, but make sure that you do not do too much weight that you guys handle and focus on the negatives uh, also a lot of people do with the back supporting pad but what it does is limits your movement and your positioning uh, positioning opportunities so make sure you do it on a free bench like that and that way you'll be able to position the bar in a way that's comfortable on your neck and you don't have to extend your neck that much. I did four sets, uh, five sets of eight reps on this. The second exercise is going to be the rear delt row. On this exercise, a lot of you guys cannot see it, but what I did is I retracted my trapezius muscles. What it does is, uh, what, it, what muscles do in general is when it's contracted or it's in a shortened position, it works. Right? So when I'm keeping my traps on the uh, retracted or contracted position, then it's working constantly. So it's kind of like hitting, killing two birds with one stone. I'm working my my traps as well as my rear delts. And again, with just with the rear delts, focus on the negatives much more. As soon as I'm done with the 12 repetitions, I move on and I do 10 second isometric with the band. And the whole purpose is to fatigue the middle deltoids again, guys. This is for middle deltoids. And the whole purpose of holding the band for 10 seconds is just to fatigue and give a good pump and squeeze on the on the, on the lateral deltoids. Um, again, I did uh, four sets, uh, I'm sorry, three sets, 12 repetitions on each uh, set and followed by 10 seconds negative. I'm in mean 10 seconds isometric hole with the band This is something that I recently tried and it is actually a great technique uh, to specialize any body part Because uh, uh, the thing is we have done these uh, repetitive movements so much that introducing introducing any kinds of new and um, new movements like this one I've never done isometric holes in seven years so doing that is actually does spur on a lot of growth so again this is three sets with 12 repetitions each and make sure you feel the rear delt burn while you're doing the isometrics the third exercise is going to be the Arnold press when it comes to building all three heads of the deltoids the front lateral and the medial this is the best exercise you can do however a lot of people do it incorrectly because they try to handle too much weight thinking that is just like a regular regular dumbbell press but if you do that in this case you're not going to feel full effect of it as you come down make sure that you are uh, rounding your elbows off like I am doing coming inwards like you would on a pec deck fly the inner twist is what works your front deltoids and um, while you are moving moving outside you would be using a lot of a rear deltoids and your mid delts or lateral delts also what you guys uh, I think I missed this one too and this one purpose of catching the video is seeing what I have not done uh, I should have tilted the dumbbells inwards along the e inwards so that I focus a lot more on the inner or a front delt twice as well so something I need to improve uh, next time I do it again uh, four sets with eight repetitions on these make sure you are controlled and don't overdo weights next is the time to work on a little bit of the rear delts this is one arm delt um, one arm uh, cable delt pulls specifically for for rear delts so you should feel the burn in the roll 
on the rear delt. With this exercise specifically, what I found is having really controlled motions with light weights but high repetitions is what works the best. Since, del since rear del delts are very small muscles, if you put a lot of weight on it, then you will be using a lot more of back. So when you do it, make sure that your arms does not go past beyond your straight line of the back because if you're doing that, it means that you are using a lot more of rear deltoids. This I did three sets of 15 repetitions on each side. And one thing about doing one hand at a time is I really don't take a rest. So I do one hand, switch the hand and then do the other and jump back and forth and complete all 15 repetitions non-stop. Uh, this is a killer way to get, an, uh, to get a burn on the rear deltoids. And although, um, although a lot of people don't do it on the gym, I think this should be uh, the number one rear delt exercise, just like uh, just like any other exercise should be treated with uh, with a lot of people doing it. Uh, the next exercise is going to be a power cleans. The power cleans um, is is a thrap building exercise in this case because I have uh, when I when I lowered my back I sure I made sure my traps are contract are relaxed and when I pulled I made sure my I pull it through my trapezius muscles and it's also some uh, cardiovascular since I'm doing 15 repetitions only taking 30 seconds rest between each set here it looks like I am doing it I'm pulling one arm first and the other but again I mentioned this a lot in this uh, my vlogs but it's actually my garage a little bit tilted due to which my bar is always looks like it's uh, not done properly but uh, if I have done it in the gym it will look much straighter than that and which is one reason why I don't like to train in the gym I, I mean in the garage because it just makes it look funky now turn for the arms and I am doing a hammer curl here you cannot see it but I'm standing on the platform uh, which is because it gives me more range of motion to pull so that I can have a better contraction while I am on the top I am um, twisting my elbows outwards that specifically focus this is the forearm and I am making sure that I squeeze and relax for a slip for a split second after that some preacher curl time I did three sets by the way for the for the sh for the power cleans I did three sets of 15 reps for the cable curls I did uh, three sets of 12 reps and for the preacher curl I am doing three sets of 12 reps as well I mean I am I'm making sure that I go fully extended and this is as much extension as my um, as my machine allows and while I go up I imagine that there is a line between my elbows and my biceps and uh, I mean forearms and my biceps and again try to get a good squeeze and I think of screwing or uh, crushing that line after that I move on to the crunches and uh, this is actually known as the killer ups because of the position of my uh, of my legs and uh, I put a plate so that I don't have to, I don't move my legs uh, actually what I'm doing it incorrectly here is I'm trying or I'm moving my hip flexors I I'm not sure I thought I put it on control but I'm not even sure what happened right there something I have to learn again uh, I never really do a lot of um, crunches here I did 30 repetitions on each set and did it for four four total sets I usually like to do it for uh, heavy weight and high and low repetition just like other body parts but in this case I am doing uh, 30 reps um, one thing you need to learn and I need to learn this as well is to keeping the hip flexor muscles uh, in contracted so that your abs will work a lot so uh, something to learn for next week I guess so that's about it guys uh, for this episode of shoulders arms and uh, shoulders arms and uh, abs I'll see you guys next week bye bye